Singapore. A city known for its functionality and high standard of living, the government has a reputation for keeping strict order and art often exists within rigid confines. And there's one type of art you'll almost never see. In many parts of the world, walls like this would be prime for graffiti artists. But here in Singapore, you wouldn't even think about it. If I was to mark this wall with this pencil, I could face up to 2,000 Singaporean dollars in fines and jail time. So for that reason, you'll find artists here in Singapore, if they want to express themselves publicly on public property, they have to go through the right channels. These walls have been marked out for mural artists. They're situated in public housing estates, known in Singapore as HDB housing. The HDB stands for our Housing Development Board, and because of the space constraints in Singapore, um, most residents from, say, middle to low income families typically will, will be moving into spaces like this just to have a home for their families. Art in Singapore is seen as something for the higher income people. Our idea is to bring art to the masses. And since this is high rise development and there's quite a chock full of people in each block, we want to let them experience it in their own environment, in their heartland. The residents around here recognize us. Sometimes when we paint, paint here, uh, when we work late, let's say in the evening, 7 or 8 p.m., they bought us drinks. It's really beautiful, makes me feel very relaxed when I see it. Did people pay you to do this? No, this is a big cooperation. The big cooperation started nine years ago, when a group of young artists gathered at Orchard Road, a famous shopping street, and decided to give public dustbins a makeover. The local community started getting involved, and from this, Social Creatives was born. Headed by Faris Basharil, they've since been commissioned to work on murals throughout Singapore. One of the main goals is to promote mural painting among non-artists. Are you an artist? No, I'm a student. Yeah. Um, I'm a science student. <laughs> this is the first time I paint a wall. It's very hard from painting on paper. On paper, it's very easy to blend. But on wall, it's like the moment I paint another color, it covers the, the old one. So it's like, oops. <laughs> but getting free reign on these walls has taken support from the local council. The hope is to expand these types of murals to other blocks in the neighborhood. Three years ago, one Singaporean artist wasn't as fortunate. Samantha Law stenciled roads and pasted graffiti stickers by traffic lights. She was arrested and charged with vandalism, a crime which could have got her up to three years in prison. She was eventually handed probation and 240 hours of community service. Through our education and through our peer pressures as well, there's always this very right or wrong mindset. It's impossible to change this mindset overnight. So at times, social creatives believe that um, there are policies, and these policies have been around for many years, but policies are meant to change, meant to be relevant to today's context. So social creatives, what we do is legal vandalism. We will hope you can reach to somewhat of a level like Philadelphia or something. They took all these artist criminals, they make the crim artist criminals paint the town to beautify the place. Yeah. So you think you guys are kind of using that same type of philosophy? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Correct, yeah. But you guys aren't criminals? Yep, no. <laughs> no, we aren't criminals. Huh? Probably we do, but no. I'm, my record is clean. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to take getting a little bit messy to bring more colour to the HDBs. Dan Epstein, TRT World, Singapore.